Welcome, welcome, soul family. This is a pick a card reading in honor of the super blue moon in the sign of Aquarius, upcoming August 19th, 2024. So you may choose your pile according to your intuition. We're going to pick those four cards, or you might want to pick it according to the zodiac element. If you like to work with zodiac signs, I would suggest looking at your moon sign. Okay, so let's get, ooh, well, I guess we already have the pile for the air because we are doing this pick a card for the full moon in Aquarius. So this is going to be air. We're going to turn them after that. After air, we have water in the zodiac. Then we have fire and then we have earth. Okay. And again, you don't have to choose it according to a zodiac placement or element, but it is for the ones that do prefer to do it this way. Okay. So pile number one or the air element. Ooh, the giver. A lot of green. A lot of heart activation. Wow, beautiful. Pile number two with the water element. The lovers. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just <laughs> picking up on my own reaction. It's almost like so much heart. So much heart already. Wow, getting emotional now. What's going on? <laughs> Pile number three with the fire element, okay? And that could be for fire moons. Again, you decide. We have the conjurer. Beautiful card too. Purple and green. Then last but not least, pile number four, we have with the earth element, the fire bearer. Intense ancient wisdom here. Wow. Okay. So you might want to, you know, see if there's an appeal towards one particular card or you want to listen to your moon placement, your sun, your rising, air, water, fire, and earth. All right. I'll see you there. Pile number one or the air element. What do you need to know for this super blue moon? By the way, for the ones that are interested in the astrology aspect, you will have a separate video for this type of information. All right, let's see what we have for you, my dear pile number one. What do you need to know for this super blue moon in Aquarius? We saw already and we felt a lot of heart activation with the tree here. I wouldn't be surprised that you're receiving some ancestral wisdom, some type of activation from the earth. Maybe some of you relate to being an earth gatekeeper, earth angel. Okay, let's first get some cards. Look at them. And channel. Ooh. Okay. I will use the tarot cards for clarification. Okay, let's see your story here. Pile number one. We have <laughs> the rain maker. Wow, talk about a connection to the elements, my dear one. My dear one in pile number one. Mm-hmm. And the upper world. Wow. I'm going to be patient before I start. <laughs> I just love the amount of downloads that I'm receiving for you. Okay, I want to put them like this. I love how, you know, just the way you're being called as a reader to put cards, there's, there's a reason why. We'll find out why. We have here Archangel Azrael, endings and beginnings. Wow. 
under the rainmaker. Let's see if you can. I'm going to bring you a little closer. What do you think? Better angle. Mm. A better angle. There's something to clarify here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, source. Return to oneness. Wow. Do you see how it's interesting how the cards were on the reverse? I just need, failed the attraction. So some of you, okay, pile number one. First of all, I can tell, and if you do not know and you need to hear this, you're someone that lets the vibration of your surrounding moves you. I feel a great connection to your environment, to the plant kingdom to the animal kingdom there's a lot of heart openness that's stemming out of your aura and it seems that because of all the energy work or just all this introspective work light work self-caring healing bringing wholesomeness into your life you know there is with this super blue moon a gift it's a very particular gift it's still in the state of an egg but it's materialized so some of you maybe you've been working on manifesting something and there is this birth there is a rebirth that is occurring with this very powerful astrological cosmic event okay that is making this one thing appear. We'll try to get more details about this, okay? But it feels like a wish. It's a wish from the heart. Like, uh, uh, you see how she is? I don't It almost feels like on the other side, I don't know, I don't see her arm, but as if both arms are uh, back and she's pulling forward her chest as if, it's a desire, a wish from the heart that has been guiding her. So there is, there is this, this thing as far as the universe with the upper realm and source here. The universe wants you to hear and applaud you for following your heart, for letting your heart's desire lead the way. Not so much the mind. You see how the mind is back? Father, the heart and the gift is so close, so close to the heart. Let's, let's see what was, I feel that here what you need to fully acknowledge for yourself is that you had to end certain cycles. You know, it's interesting. I, I, I did not expect it, but <laughs> I feel that there's something with a planet influence here. Oh. Okay, I naturally put it on your north node. Wow, okay. So if you're watching this intuitively, pile number one, or maybe moon element or whatever, I would suggest if you want additional messages to watch your north node element, okay? There's some, what's calling you? is your calling and it's been asking of you to maybe end certain cycles with the rain you see that this is where i felt like the the self-care the wholesomeness the healing maybe you had to really offer some of your grief to the heavens i feel that some of you it's almost you even had to go as through dark nights of the soul to the point where you're crying and you're saying to the universe like you know what i just surrender i surrender i'm not trying to control anymore i'm ready i'm ready for this for, for the solution for you know it's almost like if you've been trying to use your mind in the past you had to surrender. You had to let it rain. You had to let it, you know, the emotions really be felt in order to create a new beginning. 
because it's almost as if like until you were feeling intensely how maybe bad a certain situation made you feel you could not bounce back up and say no more because that's when we're still avoiding it and the universe hears as a result oh she can take more or he can take more or we can bring more i mean uh you know <laughs> okay universe we got it okay and there there is this i really feel a divine gift for you a divine intervention for some of you if you've been struggling with surrendering and by the way this is something for you i'm going to write it down because i don't want uh to forget surrendering is the portal uh this is interesting because we're still in a period of time that is highly portal like okay highly uh shifting timelines shifting a lot of um a lot of opportunities and convergence there's even like new timelines and i think this with all the tree here this might be um part of a new creation something that is in alignment with a wish fulfillment a request that you made almost like you know what <laughs> I just told I had a team meeting. Um I'm currently helping at a acupuncturist uh, clinic and we have this monthly meeting and every time we have like a certain goal every acupuncturist have a certain goal I I joked last time and I said I am your celestial waitress. What do you want to put in your order? And I literally just like I took the note for your for your frequency I would take the notes and I say okay this person would like me to work on this and so you know marketing or whatever uh, but this is and it's been really working for us as a team and I feel like this is what your angel spiritual team wants you to hear pile number 1 you're being heard and the universe is at your service and it's trying to hear to deliver something that is putting you right on track you're being really called into a, a beautiful direction okay so let's get some clarification Ooh, you know what i'm going to give some space here i want to know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> maybe you want to know too um a little bit more about this what is this what is this egg of creation what is this egg of intention with my need to create a little bit more space now on the screen. Hey guys. All right. Yep. Maybe no. Oh, there you go. All right. What is this gift? Oh, I heard the gift come from God. Okay? Uh Okay. It's definitely connected to your prayers. So some of you you might be very spiritual or you might not realize how your communication because of your heart openness and your vibration that's rising how the universe really hears you loud and clear what is this gift oh okay it's here wow it's some type of idea and not just one it might be oh i'm hearing the word i hope this is in english too <laughs> it's i know for sure in french a uh, myriad a myriad of ideas it's almost like one and also some of you if you were looking for like answers okay to a prayer to a situation resolution okay there's like not just one insight or one light of clarity but a chain reaction So you're receiving here a grand activation. You know what's interesting um when you're working with the messenger of fire this is really covering a uh, deactivation of the ace of wands, you know, your kundalini. There's there's an alignment of your energy flow, your chakra. Some of you you know I like to work with meditation, breath work, sound healing, okay? uh um, that's really something um that i feel is being activated for you yeah yeah if you resonate with some of my um 
tools uh, as far as frequencies, there is going to be a lot of um, change and, and things that are going to be on this um, channel so you can really work with your inspiration. And I think this is like this is the beginning of, of a whole tree, of a very fruitful era. You're, and right now, it's, it's the energy of it that you're grasping. And you needed to end certain things. And so if you're watching this and you're still ending certain things, let's get an advice, okay? For the ones that are still, maybe I'm hearing tied. Some of you might be still tied uh, to a certain situation. Let's see. It's interesting because I, um, I feel the frequency of the beacon of light okay i'm gonna write this down again <laughs> beacon of light uh, for you because in this in the words the prayer of the cosmos there is a part that i felt very powerful that speaks of releasing some of those cords and especially the unforgiveness and the guilt connected to others. Okay, because I feel as some of you, maybe you had to take a different path. Again, this is, you know, it's, this is Aquarius energy. Yeah? So I wouldn't be surprised if some of you had to be a um, karmic chain breaker of the family, a black sheep, or carrying some type of, you know, eccentricity. Remember, I've been talking a lot on the channel about being weird or just following your weird, W-Y-R-D, your destiny, your purpose. Okay, let's see that card now. The two of water. Oh, okay. So this is interesting because Yes, this usually talks about union between feminine and masculine, but what I really feel is that remembrance where I told you, you're vibrationally receiving this gift and a myriad of ideas and blessings from source because you are being heard. But that frequency you had to manifest was created because you had to release. Remember the first frequency, surrendering is the portal. You had to release the rational mind to try to figure out the way to your answers, okay? And if some of you still feel ties, this is why we have the two of water, the union between feminine and masculine. You're going to want to let your emotion leads you first, and then the insights will come. I know that in some religions, I remember being told, you know, do the practice, do the prayers, practice the celebration of that spiritual uh, practice, and then you will understand. And I was very resistant to it when I was younger, or at some Phase, not so much young, young, but uh, like probably the teens <laughs> when the ego was strong. Um, but I remember, and now there's a lot that I see when I just allow myself to follow my meditation, my stillness. And this is something here, you know, let your heart lead and you will find the way to let go of what needs to be let go so you can reach up high. Okay, let's get another guidance as far as getting to that frequency. Okay, the page of air, the ace of swords. Oh, the, well, the page, but also the page and the ace cover the same part of the zodiac wheel. If some of you don't know that, okay, and we're entering the teaching of the page of air and also the ace, which it's the completion of all those archetypes through the winter months. So this is, let me see here. This is going to be more uh, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces season. Okay. This is towards the winter. So remember how I said there was you're in a frequency and what it's saying is that 
Maintain the frequency of following your heart, following your weird, following the ideas that are being birthed right now. Make sure that you find a proper balance, heart-mind coherence, because the result, the answered prayer, the physical, and now you're already getting manifestation, but it's an egg. You know, it has to grow. It has to give you all the fruits. This is just an ideas, but they have to bear their weight. It's going to come starting uh, Capricorn season. Okay, so towards December, the end of December, the end of this year. If some of you want to, you know, work a little bit with time. I feel there's another message here. Ooh, page of earth. Another season. Uh, and you know what? It's, it's interesting because some of you, I feel this could have been related to the past spring. Okay. Maybe you had a certain desire to manifest, okay, spring season, so covering uh, Aries, Taurus, and Gemini season, and through the desire of this manifestation that you wanted to create, there has been a lot of revelation as far as your own self-imposed limitations, the alchemical work that you had to do for yourself. And now you're getting a lot of the vibrational attunement that lets the inspiration guide you. And the rewards are going to be towards the end of this year. But know that this is going to recreate a new start. A, a one that is more intuitively led. I feel that some of you, if you pick pile number one, okay, or if you're watching this because you have an air north node or a moon air placement, okay, whatever is the case, um, you needed some more heart-mind coherence. You needed to trust more your faith, and that means through your heart, your heart's wisdom, what made you move towards a certain direction. That's what I have for you, pile number one. I'm sending you many blessings. Please remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. And uh, I will see you soon. Namaste. Pile number two or the water element. You have the lovers. Beautiful energy. It's, there's something about the mirror, almost as if with what you need to know as this phase is that you're entering a phase where the reflection of the world is going to be very much in tune to the love that you are. I feel a lot of like blooming relationships, blooming collaborations, expanded heart expanded connections, events, situations, manifestations overall for you. Okay, let's get some cards for you. Pile number two. Ooh, all right. Okay, you got three. We will oblige. Let's see. What do you need to know, pile number two, for this super blue moon? Mm. Okay, maybe those two. We'll put them aside. Okay. I feel hot. Let me get some water. It might be hydration. It might be needed for you. Oh, look at this. I'm just realizing like this, this could be a moon. This could be, this could be the start of something that, you, you know, was long awaited. Huh. It almost, some of you, it could be a, a relationship. I, I, I want to, you know, mention all that I'm feeling. Because there's this uh, awe-struck, uh, but almost like mesmerized 
Almost I can't take my eyes of you type of energy. A lot of heat. <laughs> A lot of passion, probably. All right. Okay. Let's see. That could be also activation of your own Kundalini. Okay, everyone. Uh, don't get everyone getting excited. <laughs> But that's an energy that's very magnetic. I don't know if some of you have had a Kundalini awakening. Um, you know, the, yeah. If you know, you know. <laughs> we got the earth. Definitely something is being manifested. This, I, I told you I was hot and I was thirsty. Look at this. What? The sweat lodge, like I'm literally feeling your impressions, pile number two. So much heat, so much heat. I don't know, some of you might be also, I'm feeling like it's a hot summer. <laughs> okay, all right, let's see where's that going. Ooh, the coyote. Oh, wow, you know? This is unexpected divine detour, okay? I remember one time in my life, I, 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 I met this huge white coyote in the hills coming out of my car. And I, it was almost like this energy was so magnetic that I almost was happy that there was someone next to me because it, it looked like a wolf, it was so big. And I was like, are you seeing this? And the person like, yeah, you're not dreaming. Just, just walk back slowly <laughs> because I was almost like literally pulled by it. And that was actually a time of my life where I had to purge a lot of old beliefs about love, my way of committing to love, especially towards others. Okay. And I was taking a hell detours like not just one many so i feel like there's that's why this image just came back into my mind is that with this super blue moon in aquarius okay you're becoming very magnetic uh, you're probably attracting a lot of different options and some that you did not expect it can be in relationships romantic or not it could be also look at this like this person is being called to that, you know, it's like, yes, this is a sweat lodge, but you see, there's more light. So whatever you're going to decide, there's going to be some decisions and we're going to pull some cards. Okay. But right now, what it shows and what you need to hear, what you need to know that you, you're in a place where with all those portals, energy and quantum leaping, you're attracting hella. <laughs> I don't know if some of you are in California. Hella lots of um, different opportunities. Opening up, obviously, different quantum realities. Okay. Now, that's exciting. Let's see if we're getting some guidance about those. And I, that could be... Why? There's two piles here. There's like two main roads. Okay. All right. Let's be open about this. Wow. Okay. We had the same card on pile number one. So some of you, that's interesting. Uh, okay. I did not expect this, but you have like my little dice here. I was called to pick up that dice. I would suggest... If you want, there's something about like a certain ending. If you want some more details, know your Mercury placement. Where was Mercury when you were born? And go and watch the reading for the element, okay? That, that could give you another insight. It's been coming up for the piles. This is interesting, like more than one pile. Okay, ooh, Archaea Clarity. Rest, reflect, recharge. Hmm. The clarity comes from not 
there's there's something here almost as if the universe is saying look at how infinite you are and look at all the possibilities that are being offered but take the time to ponder to rest and make those decisions when you feel most excited now as I'm like just taking the time to say all of this, I have this remembrance of a client recently sending me messages about, uh, you know, a new relationship that showed up. Uh, we've worked through a lot of karma as far as getting out of past dynamics in relationships. So it might be for something for you. That's usually why I think of, you know, particular stories. But I remember that recently... Uh, that new attraction really kind of bluntly revealed a very similar energy as the one that was there before, that was seven years long karmic, okay? And the first reaction was almost to get sad, but very quickly, especially when you're able to talk to someone, um, we're able to say, you know, and acknowledge, you know, it's very common to attract the same type of dynamics that we're healing because the universe is wanting to know vibrationally, are you fully done with those lessons? Did you finally get the full clarity? And I feel as some of you, I would say, you know, you want to make your decisions when you're fully in joy, but peaceful joy, not the overly passionate it's, it's like an energy that shines, not burn. I feel like there might have been, you know, with the earth here, some type of repetition of karmic uh, attraction for you, pile number two. And we're seeing here, listen to your nervous system. <laughs> okay, listen to this. Um, that's giving me a frequency for you, uh, pile number two. Okay, um, I'm going to recommend to you um, the astral body. This is to heal the emotional body, okay? So you're not tied energetically to attracting the same type of thing. If some of you are YouTube members, you might want to work with the nervous system regeneration. And when I mention this, you'll find uh, the links um, onto those videos. Okay, all right. So let's see. So there's a, so you're seeing here that there could be an attraction to something you already have been, been there, done that. Okay. Maybe it's appearing so the universe can see like, are you still jumping or are you still going for it? Or are you taking the time to shed those layers? Are you able to recognize and discern? You know, that's, that's one part. Now, the second aspect i love this oh my god perspective zoom out and relax oh my god pile number two you see here it seems very there's almost like the same color of the ending and beginning it's a new beginning awaits for you but you need to make sure that you're having clarity about all those openings i can feel it i i literally see you i'm hearing the word flattered so watch out for flattery. Use your discernment, your sword of discernment. We're going to get some tarot cards for this, okay? We're going we're gonna to get more details about this. And we have Archangel Zadkiel. Strengthen your boundaries. I told you. Uh, when you start having proper boundaries, you'll be able to create something totally new. Okay, but here it seems that you might, oh my God, I remember that phase in my life. Oh Lord. Some of you, you might be empaths that have been attracting like moth to a flame, narcissistic personality dynamics in your relationships. Okay, this is, I feel it very clearly. There is a requirement to sweat, to shed off, to... Uh, heal the emotional body of all the stress that has been created inside and bringing some strength into your boundaries here. I'm going to add for some of you, 
um, the, it's funny, I was looking at the time on this portion, it was 12, 12. Some of you, it's like almost like in your DNA. Some of you might not have realized that could have been a pattern you inherited, or that could be something like if you had parents that were narcissistically inclined and always demanded of you as a child to cater to them, that you don't realize you're doing this. Okay. And this full moon, this super blue moon, is shedding a lot of light on this. It wants you to be slick here. Okay, I almost feel like some of you, <laughs> it's like, watch people that are trying to play you. I did not expect this to come up like that. Okay, all this to say, um, I'm going to add the super empath playlist. Some of you your homework, quote unquote, is to sleep with it at night. Play the whole album. I had to do this for over six months to start really have a strong energy boundary uh, awareness. What was mine and what was not mine. I was literally vampire sucked <laughs> most of my life. And some of you, you will relate to this. Okay. So let's get some clarification. Okay. I, I want to know for you, what is it exactly that you have to be careful about that needs to be revealed? The seven of earth, the seven of pentacles, this is a card of patience. The, and it comes out a lot for you. Remember I said like, make your decision out of joy, but I feel that some of you, you have not maybe uh, yet mastered like the difference between when your heart is calling you or when you're pulled to it as an empath. As an empath, you're not, especially if you've been in narcissistic dynamics, you're gravitating almost like you're this time the moth to the flame, which is they need your energy to keep on burning and you go and sacrifice yourself to make that shift that energy adjustment okay so there's something here about taking more time again with making decisions about relationship situations you are highly magnetic you're very attractive some of you i wouldn't be surprised maybe you take like six months where you're single and you just focus on your self-love and then maybe some of you are just like start to put yourself out there and boom you're going to have like a bunch of different opportunities and some of them it's almost like different doors you know those games some of them are highly repetitive of those old patterns okay let's see what else yeah look at this hermit solitude virgo energy i want to mention it some of you maybe you have a certain virgo placement or it's a virgo interaction here you're the virgo or they're the virgo but that this is what I felt like, almost like what it's saying is like, put the teachings of the moments you were working on yourself and your self-love and your self-care when you took time to introspect. Don't let the impatience of others, the burning desires, you know, um, of others push you into making certain decisions. You see that, like, as I'm, like, talking to you, I feel much less heat. And I like that. And some of you, you need to know, like, I, I saw as a reaction, just saying that to you, the wrong options. And that could be even for jobs. You know, people that might tell you, like, oh, you, you okay, this is a great offer. We'll give you this, 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 this. It almost sounds too good to be true. But they need you to sign and they're like, oh, yeah, you don't have to take that home. Just, you know, it's standard process. But no, you need to read the full document. You need to maybe wait and see if there's new offers or you have another interview the next day. And they might just put pressure on you and flatter you. Remember the flatter was coming up for you to make a decision quick. And it's like a big no-no here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't let, don't let the, um, the flattery 
push you to say yes to things because there's so much there's like it's almost like when you're able to set a strong boundary there's much greater almost like a you know like you were given like three doors and because you're like you know what let me read the document let me uh, let's like, you know, let, I, I'll get back to you next week. You know, I want to have the weekend to consider my options. The, the wrong options will fall apart and there's magically going to be that fourth door. And that's the magic one. That's the one that has everything you want in there. Okay. So let's see. Let's see that last. Once we have our boundaries, once we have our discernment, once our emotional body is regulated, our nervous system is regulated. <sighs> Waza. Look at that. You can't make that up. Queen of fire, queen of wands. This is like the, mag the most magnetic queen of the heart. Ooh, I got chills everywhere. If some of you, it's, you want to manifest a relationship, then the right person is coming. It's like someone you did not even expect coming out of nowhere. You know, if it's for a job or whatever you're trying to manifest at this time, whatever is your situation, this is going to be so rewarding, pile number two. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I have for you at this time. If it supported you, please remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. If you want to listen to the astrology, you'll have a link for this as well. Um, this is a different video. Thank you so much for your support and your presence. Namaste. Pile number three with the conjurer or the fire element. They can be your moon or it could be, let me tell you, because this little roll of dice here has been coming up. And for you, I do feel that we want to do this as well. There's going to be an additional message. If you look at your Jupiter sign and listen to the message connected to the zodiac element of your Jupiter placement. And I'm not surprised, pile number three, I am starting off for your messages very differently than any other piles. I feel there's something, okay, number 22. Some of you, you might be with a very specific life path. I'm th thinking like a master builder number, or there's just something that you've always known that you were born to achieve. Now, when I was setting up everything for you, and we'll use the tarot cards later, um, I was called to look under the deck of the shaman, the mystical shaman, which is a deck that I like for ancestral wisdom. And the thing that I got was soul retrieval, okay? And soul retrieval with the number 49 is very, very much connected of, you know, in this lifetime with the cocoon and the butterfly, that you're here to manifest something that you, since you were born, you know that there's something spe special or specific, okay, that you want to birth. But the process of you manifesting this is to call back a lot of your power. You see the circle? And that might be why there's this energy. I wouldn't be surprised some of you are connected to the elementals, the fairies, it could be, uh, you know, witches and, and alchemy and all this type of very ritualistic uh, wisdom, okay? Being an herbalist in past lives, there's a lot here, okay? And so I feel with the soul retrieval, first of all, some of you, if you're feeling that you want to call back some parts of your ancient self, with this super blue moon in Aquarius, that's something that is occurring. If you need support, because where's my pen? This is what I do, you guys. I support you not just with the messages, but the sound, the frequency, because through the sound and through just knowing this, there's more for you to discover in your own words, in your own language. Okay, some of you, there's an activation here of, of light language. You are meant to express some type of very unique gift, 
okay, with this energy, a different expression of the divine. You might be very spiritual, you might be a healer, you might be someone that is already a teacher, a guide, very mystically inclined, especially with the... I wouldn't be surprised, you could be also a reader, a tarot, astrologer of the crystal ball here. Or you're just someone that is very psychic. More. <laughs> As if it was not enough. More is coming. More is coming. I would suggest, even though this is like the fire pile, okay? I'm, I was seeing before water, like literally I was getting visions for you. And I was seeing water-based rituals and i'm going to stop there okay because that's that's for the ones that resonate with this type of work they will know they will know their own rituals around water all right let's see what does pile number three with the fire element it could be their jupiter it could be their moon their sun or rising sign I almost feel like I want to ask. I'm like, I'm already feeling like I want to ask. There's something here that you've been asking. And maybe some of you is to, it's like you, you have that sense that you're meant to bring something. And it's like, you want to know what? You have to acknowledge that this is a very high energy time, cosmic alignment. There's a lot of portals. There's a lot of quantum uh, timelines that are being merged, healed, new ones that are being weaved, okay? So be patient with the process of your own magic. You see, I talked about the entanglement, the tree of life. There's some situation, it was reversed. There's some situation that is, and the conjurer is to end a certain, you know, to conjure, it is to end with your words, with your spell. Maybe let's read this little conjurer. There might be some messages for you here. Number 22. Okay. All right. Ooh, Joseph Campbell. I like him. Okay. Joseph Campbell advise us. Not to settle for the way things have gone with others, but instead to unfold our own myth. This takes vision, dedication, and will. To conjure is to call upon the invisible to make itself manifest. To assist in the manifestation, we must understand that what we think on grows. You want magic? Pay attention to magic. You want empowerment? Praise empowerment everywhere you see it and ignore the places that make you feel small or weak. You want love? Celebrate love everywhere you go. Conjure the truest and most beautiful version of your own life by adoring everything in your path you find true and beautiful. Start with your own dragon soul. You know, dragon energy is... It travels through you, through your nervous system. Uh, we have a part of our brain that is the reptilian brain, that is the one that stays in survival. So I feel that some of you, maybe you've been playing small, feeling that you're stuck in survival mode, entangled in the web of the old worn-out matrix. Some of you, you might be trying to get out of a nine-to-five. Okay, let's see what else. Your, your reading is coming up so differently, just so you know. It's almost like something you have to acknowledge. Maybe some of you are like comparing yourself to others and saying like, hey, why, why don't, like, why don't I know exactly, you know, or why don't I have already a house or why don't I have already a relationship or kids or like your whole, like if you had to compare the way I was going about this type of reading to your pile, you would be like, like, why is she doing this? Like, why is it so different? But it's so different because that's what you, your soul craves. Some of you, normality is not what you're meant to experience. You're meant to experience extraordinary. So 
maybe some of you, you're, you have to retrieve some of that power of confidence in yourself. Look at this. You cannot make that up. Water. Okay. I got another. I'm going to, uh, to recommend to you, my dear pile number three. Okay. My playlist, the quantum fascia healing. Okay. There's a lot here that you're working because it seems that if you've rehearsed a certain way of reacting emotionally to situation, it's structured the water of your body into fascia. It's part, it's a part of you. Okay. When you're doing energy work, when you're going to be listening to those frequencies, you're going to be shedding the parts of you that are still entangling you to some of the old survival mode. Okay. That's, that's what we're going to do for you with this type of energy work. All right. Let's see what else. So what do we need to know for pile number three with the fire element? Hmm. Interesting. You have to summon your feminine. And I feel it's almost like what I see, it's almost like you sitting with yourself. Maybe you want to use those frequencies and kind of like tell yourself, I'm calling back my power. I'm healing all parts of myself that needs healing at this time. Whether you know what or the exact details that need healing. But your soul knows. You have to start to deepen your connection to your feminine here. Maybe that's the part of you that has been wounded. There's With Jupiter, you know, it, it's, it's a call to expand. Um, but this is, a sp this is connected to spirit. Because if you're watching this type of reading, it's like a part of you has reach a level of consciousness that knows that you're only going to find true fulfillment if you manifest a life that is in, in alignment with the, those urges that you've been feeling all along. I feel so much desire in you, pile number three. It's almost like rah, frustrating. <laughs> And you know, it's like, I feel almost like it's your, your feminine, emotional, uh, intuitive side that wants you to use that, okay, um, in the greatest ways. And that means like, sit with more presence with yourself, with more love, just like what Joseph Campbell was saying, like, you want clarity, just like, then bring more stillness so the light, you can shine the light from within, you know? You want answers, then know that uh, meditation is you listening to the answers of the universe, of God, whatever you want to call. Okay, we have Archangel Shamuel with be what you want to attract. Oh my God, pile number three, like how, huh? like you have to be the embodiment of whatever it is that makes you feel alive okay and as some of you if you don't know like what I'm what's my purpose what like what is the job or what it follow just simplify it and do more of the things that make you feel happy you want to manifest you know or usually we want a career because we want to manifest financial uh you know freedom just focus on the freedom not the finance <laughs> you know <laughs> Focus on the feeling of freedom. And the more you focus on feeling free, then you will know. Like recently I had like some, uh, some type of awareness around, for some, you know, I attract a lot of healers, a lot of people that put out there their work and pour their hearts out. And I remember being myself in those places where no one seemed to be there to respond to it. And it was this, like I said, my fe the feminine rage, like I can help you, but that was like wanted to awaken in me, okay? And it's almost like when I started focusing more on 
realizing that everything that I was creating and that I needed to create, that I wanted to create, that was driving me so badly, you know, in the greatest way, but like, like an urge, it was because I needed it. And the more I created out of what I needed, what I loved, I love pick a card readings. I love astrology. I love, like, I, I cannot, like, sometimes I watch, you know, my own or other people's and I can just like play it in the background. There's just like, there's, there's something I love about and I don't need to justify it. Just do more of what you love and then the doors will open. Okay. And when I want to come back to the ones with all that creation and they're doing all this, but what I saw is that they're also an expectation, like, well, why is not anyone watching or no one buying? But it's like, there I was seeing, like, people are not looking for the freedom because they were expressing the freedom of creating. They were seeking for worthiness, self-worth, almost like they needed others to like it, to buy it in order to feel worthy. And that's almost like telling a baby, like you're not worthy just to be alive. And I think if we looked at things differently, we would see how unfair that feels to our hearts, to our emotions. Okay. So that's, I don't, I, I went on big tangent here, but I really feel as some of you watching this, you needed to hear that. Yeah. Cause that's, some of you, there's something, especially with all of this type of love, you know, I feel a lot of desire for love. Some of you might be a relationship, but just love, like people that can see me, that can hear me, my tribe, my vibe. But again, it's like, if you're putting all this work and then you're like, you get disappointed, then you're the one kind of uh, putting your self-worth in condition. It's like conditional love. And you, you want something much greater, unconditional. So there might have been some past experiences and we'll look at this. Where were the past experiences? Maybe where you lost yourself or some self love here. We'll look with the tarot cards. Oh, you got this card too. So that was from pile number two perspective, zoom out and relax. Yes. When you relax, I feel that some of you, there's going to be, first of all, uh, a lot of the energy work can help you, but ooh, I did not see that the sec the first time. This, I, I didn't see it was the web of creation of Gaia. Look at this. I feel like it, th this is what I told you, the tribe. I feel like some of you w wants you like let go of maybe attaching certain conditions to everything that you're creating there's, there's going to be a web of, of resonance that's going to attract a lot of the similar um, soul tribe members for you. And that's going to feel so wonderful. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was in pile one. Source, return to oneness. Okay, I feel that for some of you, if you've been feeling also lonely on this path, okay, with this, um, I'm going to give you a last frequency which is the unity consciousness i really feel that could help you yeah oh i want to hug you <laughs> i get it i get it i totally do all right let's see Ooh. okay i don't know if you can see that but yeah there's some two cards that didn't want to come with me <laughs> okay all right so what are those two could it be this past thing? Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Eight of air and nine of air. Those are swords. Okay. Lack of clarity, feeling depressed. I feel as some of you, um, it might sound silly, but really self care and self love. You know, going to the gym, having a good diet, drinking enough water, uh, doing affirmations is going to really help you uplift your frequency 
and and do a lot of that energy work of retraction much faster than you expect you know for some of you i feel like it's almost like but audrey i've done it i've already done this but remember you are also working in alignment with the cosmos the cosmos has never been providing you with this exact type of frequency so it's saying go for it again really align more deeply to how lovable you are and how you love and enjoy every aspect of your life and you will see how you will attract things very differently we have a lot of portals at this time and you're here to listen and find this reading so yes okay so once you align and give yourself more love this you know kind of like give yourself like a second chance to just you know not give up on yourself what can come about oh. the call the judgment that's it i told you like here is like there's from the beginning you felt different remember some of you, you might connect to being a star seed. You know, it's just like it's, it, there's something very unique about you. Trust the universe. Trust the cosmic alignment. You're following this page. Continue aligning to some of uh, maybe the readings, some of the frequencies. You know, your when you give yourself more love, when you maybe retrieve some power back, Maybe you lost yourself in, you know, giving power away through expectations and conditions to what you create out of love, okay? And then when you let go, you're going to see how you're going to enter a phase of a calling. And it's so much greater than this that you're almost not, you're going to remember, you know, I have a lot of clients and I love that I have this type of wisdom where I'm like, Oh my God, I remember where I, when I was there, you know, with, with those type of feelings. And I love that it's, I love that I had it because I love that when I see people, I can, I have the proper words to uplift them, you know, because I remember how sometimes lost I could feel, how disconnected how I could feel, okay? You're connected to some very high frequency beings pile number three like you have like star seed all across you <laughs> trust in the space trust in the super blue moon give yourself more deeper love you are on purpose continue being weird continue creating call back more of your power maybe build more boundaries if needed Connect to the unity consciousness that's going to help you. Your vibe is going to attract your tribe, your clients, your love, your family, everything. You know, some of you uh, are looking for all of these things. I'm sending you many blessings, my dear pile number three. Please, if it supported you, support the channel back by liking, subscribing. I'm sending you many blessings. Namaste. If you were drawn to pile number four or the fire bearer which is associated to the earth element let's look at what you need to hear right now for this super blue moon i have to tell you like i was contemplating and i'm like i don't know you <laughs> the card was almost like answering me back like oh you're going to know me and i felt that was like an ancient part of you that is awakening there's some ancient wisdom that I feel for this pile. Something deeply seated in your DNA. Some type of light, some type of quest, some type of fire. You know, I'm, it's interesting. I'm like almost <laughs> thinking about the Olympic Games here uh, with, you know, like as if like through generation you've been someone that you've been passed on a certain fire a certain connection to source something that has been almost like a collective consciousness desire 
to see unfold through the web of life and time and space. Oof, this is deep. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll use the tarot card a little bit later. This pile wanted to first use this. Okay, there was very, there's an intensity with this pile that I feel that I almost, like, almost don't want to be speaking. I want to be listening. And I think that's part of the wisdom here. Pile number four, with this super blue moon, you're going to want to listen more deeply to your own wisdom. Hmm. There's a frequency for you coming up. I don't know it yet. But for some of you, that are part of the YouTube membership before I forget. It's in your vertebrae. So you're going to want to work with the 33 vertebrae. Okay? The other ones, we'll see. I'm not sure yet. Hmm. Some of you watch being too restless or hyperactive because this energy requires you to slow down, to pay attention. Because it's almost like right now I'm trying to locate in your spine where, where is this seated? Hmm. It's interesting. It's all in the genes. Maybe the third eye. There's something as far as a connection to the cosmos there. Let's con Ooh, I know. Cyrus. Cyrus frequency. Wow. Oof. Okay. All right. This is... Some of you, you have a connection. I had a special Cyrus at the time. Okay, now I, I have Regulus, but... For some of you, there was some. There is something with your connection to those star system, to those gateways. Maybe some even Egyptian background. Some very deep, yeah, desert-like. I almost feel like the, the the movie Dunes. You know, like the Keeper of the Spice, because it feels very warrior-like. Well, I'm going like really. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hopefully you love it too. Okay. Um, let's see. Wow. I, t I mean, Archaea clarity, rest, reflect, and recharge. The triple R's. <laughs> oh my. You're cracking me up. Some of you are just like, you're really, really funny. Yeah. It's almost like, I, it's, a, it's a dry type of humor. Almost like, it's just like, like the type of wisdom that just like, cuts. But it's like, it's well done. It's like, well, you know, the battle of the wits. Okay, some of you... You could also have some connection to Orion. You definitely have a connection to star systems. And right now, the frequency I have for you is Cyrus. And I'm not surprised we're still in the Lion's Gate energy. Um, you could receive a lot of frequency upgrade through that scale. All right. And we have Archaea Gress. Ooh, yes. More flow, less hustle. Yes. I love this. I love this because there's almost, there's already in you such a devoted, dedicated, again, just like Olympic Games, you know, it's like you're such a champion. You have the heart and the courage of a leader, of a champion. But it's almost like at, at this time, this super blue moon, it's like there's a certain gateway of opportunity that wants to be manifested in your life. It's almost like the universe is trying, 
to make sure that you attune to this so you can benefit from it. So you don't have to put in more effort, but allow more flow to get to the same result. I feel that some... Okay, I'm going to share this with you. This came today at the gym. Some days I lift very, very heavy. Okay, so I was doing like lat pull down, so back muscles. And I'm about 120 pounds and I'm trying to make sure I'm able to do pull-ups. So I need to be able to do more than my weight. So I'm like tapping into the field of 140 pounds. And I'm like closing my eyes, feeling my body's energy. And I'm starting to imagine myself doing it. And as I'm doing this, I can see myself doing three. And then in my mind, I'm like, okay, do four. Like I'm like already coaching myself. And I do four. And then I do it in my mind. And, but I feel something stopping me. Okay. Then I put myself into motion. And what happened is that on the fourth, I'm able to do it. But all of a sudden, I have this cramp <laughs> that happens because I was probably putting a lot of tension or my position was off in my hamstring, like nothing with the back, you know, I was probably so focused on other body parts, but not that, which is interesting because I told myself I should be, you know, very grounded with my feet and, but I forgot that part. But I thought that was very interesting because I started playing with all the machines and kind of like feeling my energy when approaching the, I'm not going to say the game because it's like approaching the effort. And I was seeing myself almost like thinking about the Olympics and how, you know, those people had to really see themselves and kind of like when they're rehearsing it, when you're rehearsing it in your mind, you might be surprised by how attuned you are to the things that you are may need to pay attention to or you know like me it like I saw that there was something that was gonna happen like but and I told myself make sure you ground your feet and make sure you spread your wings you contract your abs but while I was doing it then I started losing the focus and then I saw that I was not uh, focusing on all those things anymore so there's something I'm sharing this story <laughs> again you're like so you're so advanced pile number four, like starseed level here, mm -hmm. um, that I want you to acknowledge that you can rehearse yourself into the manifestation. I feel like the universe wants you to visualize more the energy vortex that you're in and see how it's going to lead you with less efforting, less doing, and more being. Yes. Okay, <laughs> I felt like that was a coaching session here, my dear. But yeah, I saw it. Like, I, I thought that was amazing. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sound supports you highly, dear pile number four. And through this super blue moon, what you need to hear is that you can attune yourself to the frequency of the results you're seeking in less time if you just take a step before like for some of you I feel like maybe before you start your day meditate or make sure that you're uh attuning your frequency make sure did I did I share the nine sulfasia in my pharmacy that's something that I want to make sure I share I'm going to make sure I have that sorry you guys nine sulfasia I've been working a lot with the sulfasios and I created the sophagios for being in the vortex. Sophagio activation in my pharmacy. Uh, it's not there yet. I'm going to share this. I want to share it. I want to share it with everyone. It's my pharmacy. I like, I like to give my members a heads up before, but here uh, I'm going to note it. You're going to have access here. Sophagio. And I want to make sure everyone has access to it, pharmacy. Because that's, that's like, um, I like the teachings of Abraham Hicks. And one day I'm listening to them and I'm like, how can I make sure that I can get into the vortex quickly? And the sulfasia came up. Oh my God, it's 11-11 when I said that. 
au hasard. <rire> I'm loving this. <rire> This is so much fun. <laughs> All right, final number four. What else do you need to know? Okay. You need to be in a vibrational alignment before you go out in the world. So you stop efforting so much and you let yourself flow more. This is going to feel so much better for you. The sun. Yes. This is... Oh. Oh. I don't know why I saw this. Those are wings, but I did not see this. And is it a, I keep on seeing it. Every time I put it to the screen, I see a total different vision. Okay, you're going to activate your third eye. Okay, that's why I told you, you had like, when I was scanning your aura, I was like, where is that connection? And it's the third eye. You're connected to another star system with your third eye. And this is why you can flow and let a hustle less when you start connecting with your star oh wow your star wisdom okay you come from another star system if some of you connect to this or you have ancient wisdom from champions and whatever that could be in your chart so every time i was looking at this i could see a field a feel like almost like you're growing such a feel that is going to like reap rewards. Like I was seeing cornfields and this is like harvest galore. The number 53 on the Zodiac is an angle that speaks of spiritual communication. You're someone that's meant to go about your life with more communication with spirit. It will make all your efforting less. You know, you're going to just go through life like with so much more ease through this. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else. The gatherer. That, like, I'm telling you, you're going to be, you're meant to manifest certain things, very specific things. Let's see, very specific, you're, and I feel like it's almost like you're meant to manifest specific things to anchor a certain frequency. And that's probably the frequency of what I'm telling you as far as like, we know a lot of this knowledge now about, you know, uh, the body and how we can transcend our limitation physically through visualization, through sound, through a lot of those things, you know, like advanced technology that is being applied biohacking that's the word i was looking for <clears throat> that's why i told you you felt a little sci-fi <laughs> like you know certain things on how to engineer you know some of you you might really resonate with the sound engineering of my channel you let me know by the way how the solfeggio nine active the nine solfeggio activation feels to you <sighs> the crow Love this. There's, there's like, there's, there's communication from spirit as far as you're here to be an expression of spirit in a physical vessel. Like this is, you know, Aquarius is very much about biohacking, about the latest technology. But here I feel like it's something you're activating in your body. So you don't have to be into sports, but it's almost like the way you self-manage your own beingness that is worth your other people's attention, okay? And the only advice is to watch how much efforting okay because we already know the efforting matrix we're trying to be more in alignment with the flow of attuning ourselves to frequencies okay let's see what else we have what Ooh. Jeez. look we talk about the olympic flame here ace of fire ace of wands under the sun, under the fire bear. Who are you? <laughs> oh. Wow. This is glorious. 
I love it. Some of you are watching this and, and, and can feel the activation. And some of you, if you're not realizing this, like you needed to hear this. Maybe because you're too busy overdoing, you're not able to see this, okay? But you are. You are bringing a lot of light to others, a lot of hope. You might, you might get a lot of admiration that can come with the reverse side of the coin, but that's okay. I don't think that's something you ever have the time to worry about. <laughs> Seven of Fire, in this deck, this talks about being unique. I mean, this is a, a unicorn. You're one of a kind. There's, again, who are you? you? There's a specific type of knowledge you're here to express. You're here to embody, to showcase, to package. That is a direction that, that is a direction. That is a direct communication with advanced knowledge. Almost like you're coming from the future. <laughs> ah, I love it. I love it. I'm telling you, like, this is like, what a pile. <laughs> I love it. And I can with you, eight of fire. This is like communication with the unknown, especially in this deck, like things are unknown. You, you came here with a very, it's almost, oh, I've never seen this in this card. I'm hearing fanning the flames, almost like you're here to help with the duality. You're here to help people get out of some expression of their own matrix that limit them, okay, whatever that is looking like for them. And you're doing this through your own self-expression. This is something you have to honor with the super blue moon. This is something you needed to hear. This is something that um, also requires of you self-care. It's almost like don't fall into living a life on default, okay? Created by design, intentionally, a little bit like what I share with you with the visualization. Imagine yourself. You know, sometimes, I, yeah, it's funny, you're just, you're just reminding me this, but I spend a lot of time, like, what would be my life? Well, if I were, at some point, I was trying to be a personal trainer. I was someone that had 15 years of chronic pain. I had broke my hip twice. I was barely standing on my both legs. And I wanted to be a personal trainer for the life of me. And it took me like 15 years to get to that point. And then when I did this, it was amazing. And I was flying. And then this whole mystical aspect of me came through. So I feel like this is something that is almost like showing you when I said and shared this with you, it's like you think all that you know of yourself is what you are. It's only the beginning. It's almost like there's, there's so much more that wants to be birthed out of the process that you've already nurtured, but your guidance is to pay attention to the pace. Don't burn yourself out. Okay, don't burn yourself out. Don't spread your energy too much out. F stay focused on your yourself, your uniqueness. Don't spread and fragment yourself too much. And make sure that in the, when you start your day, you, you are in alignment. I would say even go further when you go to bed, make sure that you're also in vibrational alignment. Because I've seen like, for example, like, if you go to bed and you're a little upset, whether it's towards someone or just upset or whatever, um, the way you wake up in the next morning sometimes can still carry on that energy. So I always meditate before bed and I always meditate before I start my day. And that could be something that is also useful to you because it's almost like you're telling the universe, I'm setting the tone to feel good and manifest the greatest outcome for myself. Wow. Is there anything else? No. I, the other ones had a little dice, but you, you just took me on a whole journey. You don't need 
Thank you so much for this ride. Pile number four, I'm sending you many blessings. Again, I don't know, some of you resonate with all of this. Please let me know in the comments. This is like, like magical beings here. Um, remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. I'm sending you many blessings and uh, much love and light. I'll talk to you soon.